Welcome, today is October 19th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If uh, you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and burn some sage. I hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. So let's go ahead and see what is the energy looking like for this collective. the current of all the energies of our divine masculines and our divine feminines and what are their energies towards each other what is the current overall energy please spirit between our divine masculines and our divine feminines and what are their energies towards each other what is the current overall energy please spirit that wants to show up for this masculine and feminine collective thank you so masculines wow we have here a secret admirer she watches him intently as she has many times before his beauty having her catch her breath she loves him from afar unaware that the rest of the world surrounds her wow so this is the energy of the masculine towards the feminine. Masculine is actually uh, either uh, secretly admiring their feminine or the masculine is um, admiring their feminine, okay, vice versa, you know, and towards the feminine, we have men to find each other. An invisible red cord around or linked to those that are destined to meet one another in certain situation or help each other in a certain way. So masculines feel that you guys were meant to find each other. You guys are bound by a red ribbon. Masculines are secretly admiring you, feminines. And I really feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, feminines, you're admiring your masculine. You know, uh, no matter which uh, gender that you're in, okay? And um, I really feel like Maslin has this realization or awareness that you guys are meant to be. Now, with the feminine, we have fragment. Sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts, all of them separate and difficult to bring together. This signifies someone who is feeling broken and shattered. So, feminines, you're feeling fragmented overall from what I can see. 
and I honestly feel like, you know, Matt, uh, feminines, you're feeling really torn, possibly because you're not hearing from your masculine, but little do you know that masculine secretly admires you, okay? You know, my light keeps flickering, guys. I don't know. Spirits. <laughs> it's the unknown you know so feminines your energy towards the masculine is unknown the answer is unknowable at this time you can try to look within and seek and feel the answer but for right now the universe is unable or unwilling to supply one for some things are not yet known events can sometimes change or we must be patient or look within so you have no idea like what your energy is like towards your masculine you're, you're fragmented you're torn you're broken to pieces but masculine is meant to find you okay that is how this masculine is feeling they feel like they're they're meant to find you feminines and you feel broken at this time but you know you don't know what's going on with the masculine but guess what this masculine admires you that's what i'm seeing for today's energy so that's really beautiful guys so let's see Spirit, what is going on in these subconscious or unconscious minds of our masculines and feminines? What is going on beneath the surface between our divine masculines and divine feminines? What is going on, please? Spirit, thank you. Domestic harmony. So I really feel like masculine is secretly admiring to have like this domestic harmony with you feminines i feel like you know they're feeling their heart uh to express this or communicate that you actually stabilize this masculine they feel secure and they do love you that is what i'm seeing and you know perhaps this masculine hasn't had the you know the uh the courage to um tell this to you as of yet feminines but that is what this masculine is really thinking now towards you i see here forgiveness so masculine wants to forgive themselves and also you feminine about not really expressing or communicating to you that you know they're sorry for whatever that they have put you through and also this could be you towards the masculine take it as it resonates but i see that masculine wants to forgive the situation forgive themselves they know that you are meant to find each other and they know that you are destined to be with one another that is really beautiful so today masculines they're in the vibration of possibly thinking of communication they're uh they're linking more towards their higher self and their heart and in their mind from what i can see now with you feminines i see her personal growth so feminines you know this actually came up in the reverse so what i'm feeling is that feminines maybe you need to really work on your higher self about how you're feeling fragmented because that's how you're feeling in the 3d from what i can see and really connect with spirit because i really feel like feminines i know that you know you have been the first one to you know work on yourself do some self-healing self-improvement and you're still torn because of a situation and that's why you can't really see what the situation is between you and your masculine but beneath the surface what you need to focus on is your personal growth and towards your masculine we have parenting and again it came up in reverse so you have no idea what the situationship is with your masculine when it comes to children or their upbringing okay childhood traumas childhood wounding things of that nature and because of that it's really blocking your courage to speak or communicate to your masculine you don't know if it's safe to talk about the masculine's uh, past you know or talk about well, like what what the family or children's situation is with your masculine that is what i'm seeing by masculines they're really thinking about having this domestic harmony with you feminines that is what i'm seeing so let's see what is going on in the 3d 
Spirit, please reveal to me what is currently going on in the Masculine's 3D physical life. What is uh, currently going on with the Masculine's and their 3D physical life? What is currently going on with the Divine Masculine's, please, Spirit? Thank you. We have despair. So, masculines, they're in despair about money, okay? About their fortune, whatever that they have invested into. You know, they're not sure, like, you know, what is their financial outlook looking like, right? And it has something to do with a younger woman, and that's why this masculine feels stuck. So, I feel that there is a karmic energy surrounding this masculine. It could be about family life, right? You know, masculine is secretly admiring you feminines, and they feel it in their heart that they want to be with you in this particular way. But in all reality, I really feel like masculines, you know, they're feeling this despair because they have to deal with the younger karmic feminine uh, who makes them feel stuck okay and that makes the masculine feel sad uh, that is what I'm seeing what else there is an older woman so there is a karmic a younger karmic and an older woman that is uh, around this masculine's energy and I really feel like masculine is trying to figure out like what's in it for them right what is this uh, older mature person going to give towards the masculine if they stay stuck, you know, due to this um, abundance? So masculine is waiting for a message, possibly from this older mature feminine energy. And it's the enemy so there is an enemy that is looking at this older woman and possibly you know like and i feel like this is the karmic so the karmic is looking at this older individual to see like what kind of deal are they making and so there is uh, some sort of communication that's happened or you know masculine is waiting on and it's about this gift okay so this karmic is waiting to see what is the mask I'm receiving from this other karmic feminine guys I feel like it's it feels like a, a mother-in-law and you know ex-spouse or spouse that's what it feels like and this karmic is looking to see what this older woman is going to give towards your masculine huh and the karmic wants to take it away like the karmic is like no don't don't give them anything they don't deserve it right so this is some drama guys okay so all masculine ever want was domestic harmony you know they, they just want you know a happy family well why is this karmic trying to interfere okay with uh, the the stability of this masculine the masculine is in despair they, they were like whatever man and it's all because of this younger karmic uh, female. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. Wow. So let's see. Feminines, what is currently going on in your energy? Because I feel like you're not even a part of this masculine situationship here. Okay, and this may not be for uh, every uh, masculine. But that's what I'm seeing for today. That's why masculine um, is wanting this domestic harmony, you know. And they they know that you guys were meant to be with each other, or meant to find each other. But there is a karmic that that's interfering, and and I feel like it's because this older um, energy, this older woman, wants to give the masculine something. And the karmic is upset, I'm like, why are you giving him X, Y, and Z when I'm your daughter? You know, that's what it feels like. Damn. <laughs> wow, so feminines. You're in the money. So you have money, right? You have the money, and I feel like, you know, 
you're you're either married or you want to have a relationship because I see her wedding so there's uh, money involved with uh, a relationship or you could be uh, a spouse feminines some of you are actually married uh, to your masculine okay that's for some of you and I see that you're having conversations about this marriage okay or this relationship and it's a spiritual relationship so all is well for the feminine side right you know but you're you're fragmented some way somehow and you don't know what the future holds with your masculine it has to do with parenting and i see that there's an older woman on this masculine side you don't know what's going on why is the masculine staying back or staying stuck I really feel like it's because that there is uh, some sort of fortune that this masculine is receiving from this older karmic woman, okay? That's what I'm saying. And if I mind, you already have some money over here, but you're torn. You're torn because you feel like maybe you need to work on yourself, you know? And it's about this faithfulness. Uh, faithfulness. So, feminines, I feel that you have been faithful, you know, and there is some misfortune that has happened along the way. And some of you feminists, you turned your back on being devoted towards uh, this twin flame connection because you don't know what the future may hold because seemingly, it seems like masculines, they're not really um, jumping ship as of yet because um, there's this karmic energy, right? And you want an end, you want to put an end to this misfortune. You want to change and you have hope. You have hope that, you know, maybe not is all lost you still have your your money your finances and career but for some of you feminines you feel like you're all in your ego and pride about like ending the situation to this thing of the past you know because you have been faithful and loyal and we have a reunion so I definitely feel like there is reunion that's going to happen between masculine and feminine. This karmic is trying to take something away from this masculine that makes it difficult for this masculine to just leave. Because I feel like it's unfinished business with the karmic energy. But feminines, I feel like you're all in your ego thinking, are we going to ever have union? <laughs> You want to put an end to this misfortune that you've already experienced with your masculine of the past and you feel torn and fragmented. So you're left to work on your personal growth and your financial stability, okay, as, um, you know, someone who is devoted. That's what I'm seeing. And you're having conversations, right? You know, I just feel like feminines, just be patient because your masculine is dealing with some situation. They know that you guys are meant to find each other. And that's what I'm seeing. So let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the other kind of energy of this masculine feminine collective? What is the current overall energy, please, Spirit? And if any karmic energy wants to come through, please reveal the karmic energy. What is currently going on? What is the situation between this masculine and feminine collective? Okay, so I'm going to use a clarifying deck. Let me put this to the side. Spirit, please clarify the energies of the masculine and feminine in this reading and also any karmic energies that come through. Please clarify the energies of today for this divine masculine and divine feminine. Thank you. Okay, so I see that, uh, I feel that this is masculines walking away from this uh, connection that they have with the karmic, okay? I feel like um, they can't handle it anymore. There's no justice in the situation. This is, uh, you know, between two people, possibly three. But I really feel like this masculine wants to walk away 
you know, because it isn't fair. And masculines are planning, okay, to uh, really end this karmic cycle. They're, they're really thinking about coming forward towards you. Right now, masculines, they're not, uh, you know, telling you about what is going on with the karmic situation. I feel like they're actually taking this time to really reflect and think how can they um, handle the situation with their current uh, karmic um, situation, right? And masculines are not ready to leave the past because they need to handle their situationship neatly. I feel like within three weeks, okay, which is uh, when Mercury goes direct, masculines, um, they're going to be holding back their energy, okay? So right now, they may not be planning to come forward towards you because they have to deal with this karmic energy. And it's about telling you the truth about what's going on. And right now, they could be in separation um, between you two because masculine is trying to figure out how they can tell you the truth. There could be, uh, you know, some holding back when it comes to feelings, okay? Um, so I really feel like when it comes to, like, a new beginning in love, um, there's, like, a repressed emotion uh, that is happening with possibly the feminine collective, okay? That's what I'm feeling here um, about having, like, this new offer. But masculines, they're working on it, okay? Masculines, uh, that is what they want. They want to get out of their head. They don't want to stress when they come forward towards you. And I definitely see masculine is working on this third-party situation. They want to heal, okay? And they want to come together with you uh, by working on themselves. I also see that that's why this masculine is blocking their heart and their minds about uh you know communicating to you their truth about what's going on with the karmic because they're they're juggling guys okay they're juggling because there is a karmic feminine in the way this could be a water sign um you know i feel like it could be both um there is a water sign karmic or water sign um feminine that this masculine is juggling, okay? That they're not feeling very stable to come forward towards. And that's why masculine is holding back their energy and not really making a decision when it comes to you, feminine. They can't because the karmic um, is uh, really all into this masculine's energy. They're actually spying on your masculine. They're watching them. And masculines have uh, gone through this tower. They know that they need to uh, get out of this stuck energy of, you know, feeling like, you know, they're not enough, they're not good enough, you know, and masculine is uh, breaking free from this, um, this stuck energy from what I can see so that they can come forward towards you and make a decision, okay, when it comes to love, when it comes to true happiness. And I see that this masculine is wanting to choose you from him. Okay. This is a work in progress. Within three weeks, I feel like masculines, uh, they're going to uh, work on the karmic situation. Okay. So even if you don't really uh, connect with your masculine around this time, it's okay. It's okay to talk to your masculine. I mean, there's no harm in doing that. But... The real connection, um, I feel like, doesn't really happen until after three weeks and then within two months, which is before 2021. I feel like you guys will be coming together because I see that masculines, um, they are healing from this third party situation so that they can have another chance with you. That is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's see. Masculines, you know, they're they're coming from it. It's just there's a karmic energy that's surfacing. Okay, they're trying to make it difficult for your masculine. So let your masculine handle their situation. They know that you guys were meant to find each other. You're fragmented. You don't know what the future holds. But it's okay. You don't need to know everything, feminines. What you need to know is that your masculine is working on the situation. And they're coming forward towards you. That I do see. Okay. So. 
You know, mask and stirred, they're really guarded about, you know, coming together with you. You know, and also if they're married or in a family dynamic, they're stressed out. They're really guarded because of this uh, karmic energy that they're stuck in. Okay, take it as it resonates. I also see here that masculine is holding back their feelings. And I feel like they're all in their ego and pride. They, they may not be showing how they feel towards you. As a matter of fact, they, they possibly are telling you that they don't have any feelings. But honestly, guys, this is temporary. For some of these masculines, they're trying to find the strength and courage to get out of this energy of not expressing their emotions so that they can. But there's a lot of stuck energy for today. I feel like it's because the karmic is keeping them stuck. You know, that's why I see here this thief card. Because all the karmic is really worried about is about the payout, right? The money, their um, assets. That's what I'm seeing. So masculines, they're holding back. They're not really communicating to you that, you know, they're trying to patch up whatever the situation ship is with the karma so they can come forward towards you so just hang in there a little bit longer okay feminines that's what i'm saying you know i can see that you're really upset you don't know what's going on with your masculine you know you could have felt like a, a detachment especially if you've been in communication with your masculine but this is temporary your masculine is coming back from what i can see and masculine they they do find you know this stability and this joy and peace with you but because this karmic wants to make some noise you know it's like man masculine say they're in despair right and for some of these karmics they're emotionally manipulating your masculine like masculine you know why do you do this to me sorry Maybe not that dramatic, but you get where I'm coming from. So, masculines, they're, they're not feeling very good about making a decision right now, okay? They need a little time, and now is not a time to make any major decisions. You know, now's the time for review and reflection. So, <clears throat> I see that someone is walking away. And by doing this, I feel like they want to control the situation, with this magician in reverse okay so it's kind of like reverse psychology almost when i can feel masculine is walking away from an emotionally manipulative uh situation dealing with a karmic you know masculines they feel stuck because they're stuck into a marriage so they're walking away from this um i feel like it's a karmic feminine okay that's uh, like playing on uh, their emotions towards the masculine. You know, it's up to the masculine if the masculine is going to bite onto it, you know, and really, you know, let that, let that energy hold them back. And the heart of the reading, I see that there is um, a family situation where, you know, it's true abundance and happiness, but it's not over. So I feel like this is with you, feminine. So masculines, uh, it's not over in their heart of hearts when it comes to you. You know, they're but they're keeping this to themselves. That is what I'm seeing. I feel like this masculine is really working on letting um, the feminine, um, the karmic feminine go, so they can come forward towards you. But they're not telling this to you. Is what I'm seeing. That's why you're feeling that way, feminine. And I also see that there is a delay of your mask on coming back. It's, it's a small delay. Mask lens, I feel like they don't feel good about making a decision. So mask lens doing a lot of reflection about the past and they're not ready to just jump yet right they realize they need to be more patient when it comes to karmic again the karmic wants to show up uh they know that they know this karmic they know how they operate and so they know that the best situation is to not really rush through you know whatever it is that this masculine does when they're handling the karmic energy to really you know take care of it end the situation close out the cycle so they can come forward towards you 
for some of these masculines, okay, it's not over with their family. So if they invested into a connection with the karmic, okay, um, they they didn't have the patience to really work on it. And in their heart, they feel like it's not over because they feel like family, right? That's why it's tugging on this masculine's heartstrings. But this masculine feels like, you know, they're being emotionally manipulated because of this long, long history that they have with this karmic. And they could be like, remember back, you know, when we used to all do this and it was good times, right? That's what I'm seeing. So masculine is reflecting. So now masculines, they feel like um, they're not ready to jump. They're not ready to close out this cycle. I feel like because the karmic came back. It may not be about feelings. It could be about history. It could be because there's an, a, another karmic energy involved. And it could deal with finances. It could be like, you know, having to deal with kids. You know, things like that. Now, crowning the reading. Yeah, I see her Six of Cups with Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Guys, this is a lot of stuck energy. I really feel like when it comes to your masculine coming back, they're, they're just not ready yet. They're, they're holding back. They're not ready to offer anything to the feminines because I feel like the past is holding this masculine back. This, is, this, this possibly has something to do with children or a karmic that, that from, from their past is, is resurfacing. So, masculines, they just need to deal with this karmic. That's what I'm saying now. Everybody's situationship is different, but that's the general energy that I'm um, seeing. There is a karmic energy that's holding this masculine back for, for whatever reason. And there's interference, guys. I'm seeing it. Let me know. So, let's go ahead and see what else what is the guidance for this collective let's go ahead and pull a few messages here dear spirit what is uh, the guidance message for this collective what does this collective need to know about their situation what is going to help them so if this reading is resonating with you this is your guidance Thirty-five help appears in various ways. There is much support for you. Sometimes you may get so adrift you forget to look at the support systems that are with you continually. So if you have a support group, you know, a network of people or whatnot, you know, help is always, uh, you know, shown to you in different situations, you know, and you just, you know, you don't realize this is what I'm feeling. What else? We have polite declaration. You can move in whatever direction you need to accomplish your goals. It is time for you to get out there. Claim what is yours and stay in your power. So I feel like this is for masculines. Masculines, you need to be polite and making like your statements, okay, especially towards karmic energy, and then move into the direction where you need to go. That's what I'm feeling. So, you know, that's that's what I'm seeing for today, guys. And finally change direction with ease number five this is a time for change shape-shifting or your soul's evolution it is time to reconsider what you're wanting you may be in for a surprise so feminines i feel like you're in for a surprise change direction okay every time when i get that card with the romance angels it doesn't mean like you know totally like turn your your nose or cheek towards the masculine you know what i'm feeling is that you know just focus your attention in other ways and uh and then reconsider what you want and you're you'll be surprised on what you're gonna get that's what i'm seeing so what else what other messages want to come through for today? Let's see. Let me pull. Some of these. This uh, wisdom. That is wisdom cards. So let's see. What additional messages want to come through for this collective? Please, Spirit. 
what additional messages want to come through what is the guidance Lakshmi, there's a bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. I really feel like this is, you know, could be for both masculines and feminines. You know, there is a bright future ahead, you know, for both masculines and divine feminines. Stop your worrying, okay? Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Be happy. And Yamanya, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So there is <clears throat> some opportunities coming for the feminines and for the masculines. You know, try not to overthink. You know, this is just a temporary energy. The karmic obviously wants to come through. But, it, you know, whatever. You know that stuff's temporary, right? <laughs> what else? Let's see. What does the masculine want to say towards their feminine? Spirit, what messages want to come through from the masculine towards uh, the feminine? What messages want to come through, please, Spirit? It was my fault, but I blamed you. So here we are, masculine is blaming themselves, you know. Um, but they blamed you at first. You speak to me through music, so perhaps this masculine has been listening to music or you had shared some music towards your masculine at one point and, you know, they're, they're finally listening to those songs or some songs are getting to the masculine lately and it makes the masculine think of you. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So masculines again, you know, they're very grateful for the spiritual lesson that you have taught to this uh, person. Also, my life is not as together as it seems. And I feel like, you know, that's because of the karmic. They want to come in and mess things up, right? I bury myself in work to forget you. So again, masculine is focused on work for today, you know. And I really feel like, you know, this is just a temporary energy, a passing energy, and we both know I am not the one for you. So I really feel like this masculine, at one point, they feel like, you know, they were not for you. You know, that's why they're staying stuck in this karmic energy. But the, there's a domestic harmony here that this masculine wants to open up their heart or it's in their heart, but they're not communicating that they're secretly admiring you. You know, masculines, you know, perhaps, you know, some of them, they're thinking that you're too good for them. And they, they blamed you for everything. And they don't feel very good. But masculines, you need to change and transmute your energy. Because right now, they feel that, you know, there's a past energy that's keeping them stuck. And that's why they can't make any moves towards their feminine. At least not today. I'm not seeing it. Okay? There's a stuck energy here because there's a karmic. Okay? That they're, they're not having the greatest patience with. So I feel like this masculine is having arguments with the karmic energy, possibly about with an elder or about children, from what I can feel. You know, it's just one of those days, right? Not every day is, is a beautiful day, you know, especially on my channel. <laughs> so let me go ahead and close out this uh, reading with a guidance message. And for today, let me go ahead and pull, let's see, the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Let's see. Spirit, what is uh, the closing guidance message for this collective? Please reveal to me what is the perfect guidance message that this collective needs to hear. What is the guidance message, please, Spirit? What is the guidance message that wants to appear for this collective? What is the message they need to know? What is the one message that needs to be shown to this collective? Please, Spirit. What is the message? 
The Uncharted Sea, number 46. So I feel like this is about stability, about the past. Okay, things are a little bit turbulent. You don't know where you're going. This feels like the feminine energy. You're going to the unknown, right? Uncharted territories is what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what is this all about. Stepping into the unknown without a map, moving beyond your comfort zone, choosing to do things differently, trusting in the ebb and flow of life, being in the dark and letting curiosity lead, the faith that all will be well. Your comfort zone is sometimes exactly that, a safe, familiar harbor you finally come in a, to in yourself. You have a sense that you don't need more than what is available right where you have landed in life. Now, however, is not one of those times. Like the archetypical hero's journey, the universe is inviting you to step into uncharted waters. Something is stirring. Adventure is calling. You may want to resist this urge because it will involve leaving your comfort zone, but embarking on this journey is essential for your well-being. Navigating the uncharted aspects of yourself means that you won't have a map because no one else has ever been here before. On this journey, you cannot rely on the help you would typically expect from others who have gone before you. This new territory is yours to explore. You've invited to be a pioneer, a path maker, a magical cartographer who draws your map with your own life force as, as the ink. This is the day to dive into a novel experience and fully immerse yourself into the new. You don't know what this sea of possibility has in store for you. So stay curious and refrain from judgment or the need to label. Give yourself the time and freedom to be curious without the limitations and boundaries projected by your memories or expectations. You are in an amazing place right now and you will never be the same for the surveying of these waters. Wow. You know, this is what I'm getting. You know, feminines, you know, I saw this fragmented energy. You need to be uh, working on your personal growth, okay? Right now, masculines, they're not coming towards you. You're like, really? That's nothing new. <laughs> I feel like it's because you still have some healing work to do, you know, some inner work. And masculines, unfortunately, still has some karmic baggage that they have to release and let go there is a karmic cycle that masculines have to kind of complete before they can open up towards you but you know fear not feminines you know within a couple of weeks once mercury goes direct i feel like you know the energies will will be be a little bit more stable you know but like i said just because we're in a retrograde period doesn't mean that you can't really conversate or have you know a beautiful conversation with your masculine so you know this is for some of these masculines who are actually in a karmic situation with a younger karmic and i feel like there's an older karmic involved and you know i just feel like you know there is money at stake here you know i just feel like you know it's um like being treated unfairly you know where i feel like it's an older woman who treats like this karmic feminine like um they're not family okay like they're they're a part of the family but they're not like family not like the masculine is that that's what i'm getting guys you know but you know masculines they need to get out of this they're in despair it's not like the masculine wants to be in this energy this masculine really wants to be with you but right now the the past is keeping this masculine stuck and that's what i'm seeing so right now you don't know what's going on feminines you don't know if the masculine will get out of this situation dealing with the karmic but you do know this you can only handle your own energy so take this time as your golden opportunity and know that um, doors are opening for you right now you have to walk through them okay so don't hold yourself back because the masculine isn't walking through that door with you go first 
Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. So that's the energy that I'm seeing for today, guys. So let me know if that resonated with you. Uh, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition and guys tomorrow uh, I will not be able to put out a daily uh, reading I'll be busy tomorrow and also uh, if you booked a personal reading I'm not doing any personal readings tomorrow but you can definitely uh, you know book a reading um, I go in the order as it is being received um, so bigger orders take time but the smaller orders you know I can squeeze you guys in almost on a daily basis if not it's like one to two day wait on smaller readings but if you book a bigger reading then you know it, it's like a, a couple days out so um you know go ahead and book you know um but it's just gonna be for one day where i'm not gonna be posting anything okay guys so i just wanted to let you know also okay over the last week i created the detox bath salts now this was, uh, you know, simmering under the new moon. This is very potent, guys, okay? If you're looking for uh, some bath salts to help a detox and cleanse your aura, this is it. I only have six of these. So um, this is actually more of a medicinal bath soak uh, for your, you know, cleansing experience. So if you feel like kind of in a funk, if you feel like, you know, you have bad jujus that's attached to you, definitely get you a jar of this. I only have six. I might take one off the market and save one for myself. Um, and also, guys, you know, I've made fresh bath bombs. Okay, so go ahead and take a look and see what I have in store. Also, I have uh, the test tubes to, for the bath salts. Okay, if you guys don't want to commit to a full jar. So if you get two of these tubes, it's equivalent to one jar. Just letting you know okay so this is really good um, if you want like a hand soak or a foot soak uh, and you want to uh, you know detox in that way you could definitely do this um, but go ahead and take a look and uh, see what I have available so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye